right now let's focus on the subject rotation and there was a motion called translation in translation you have displacement here you have theta angular displacement here you have displacement here you have angular displacement is is angular displacement a vector yes yes please remember velocity v is ds by dt here displacement is a vector but here omega angular velocity is a vector and that is equal to d theta by dt but theta is not a vector finite angles are not vectors likhi isko finite angles are not vectors please write it down theta is not a vector angular displacement finite angular displacement is not a vector can anyone prove that please read the book i i can tell you <clears throat> if if two quantities are vectors vector addition is commutative which means a plus b is equal to b plus a right if suppose this is hc verma book initial position is this suppose i rotate this book now please understand this if i rotate this book clockwise 90 degrees so this is 90 degree clockwise right now i rotate this book uh, this was about this axis 90 degree clockwise about this axis now 90 degree clockwise about this axis here we have reached this final position so first angle was 90 degree clockwise about this axis second angle was 90 degree clockwise about this axis so final position of the book is this are you clear fir erodov is written on the right side ha huh? now see if i do b plus a first is 90 degree about this axis right Our book is again in the original position 90 degree about this axis clockwise rotate karta hai ye rotate ki now 90 degree clockwise about this axis right are you clear i am rotating it is the position same in both the cases so a plus b is not equal to b plus a therefore finite angles are not vectors clear explain it to yourself now in finite decimally small angles are vectors can be treated as vectors there you will have vector algebra everything being followed now please answer one more thing this pen is rotating like this is it clockwise or anti clockwise fast yes <clears throat> you people are quite mature and intelligent i am impressed yes for one side it will be clockwise for another side it will be anti clockwise so if we say any rotation or any angular displacement in terms of clockwise anti clockwise will it create confusion yes or no yes sir so instead of denoting Uh, angular velocities angles in terms of clockwise anti clockwise a preferred mode the convention the better method is you assign a direction to it so how is the direction assigned right hand screw rule if your fingers are having a curl in the direction of angle then the thumb will represent the direction of that angle so if i say this is rotating like this like this please tell me so curl is curl is like this am i right do you see this curl is like this it is rotating like this so i am also curling my fingers in the direction of this are you clear clear suppose this is the pen this is a point here this is a vector and i start rotating it like this now the pen is going to rotate like this are you getting this if i have my curl in this direction what is the direction my thumb is pointing towards towards you right so i will say that this angular displacement this anti clockwise instead of saying it clockwise anti clockwise which creates confusion even if you for you it is anti clockwise right for you for a person on the other side of the board transparent board it will be clockwise direction but just see this if according to you the curl is like this the direction of the thumb is towards you right according to that person also the curl is like this he also holds his hand like this and he will realize the thumb is pointing this direction towards you so finally if we say that for this angle we'll say it is in this direction direction 
do you know this arrow system where you have if you are saying it is like this then the arrow has penetrated the board and if you are saying this is the thing then it is like the front end you know how an arrow is so if you see it from the front if the arrow is going in this direction you will see this point and this tip will be like a cone front view and if you see it from behind you will see a cross like this are you clear so what does this direction mean and what does this direction mean into the plane good so now if i assign a direction for this angle instead of calling it anti clockwise or clockwise if i say this direction is this is it right yes sir so we will we started assigning direction to angles and the direction so now if a fan is rotating in your room now if suppose it is from from below we see it is rotating clockwise suppose now please tell me what will be the direction of rotation of the fan into into the ceiling into the ceiling or down the ceiling it is rotating clockwise as seen by you ha huh? into the ceiling into the ceiling are you clear about this so angular velocity direction and theta direction is decided this way is everyone clear now moving ahead now similarly you used to have these terms equations of motion v is equal to u plus at can you tell me what will be a similar equation in angular motion v is equal to u plus at sorry so it will be omega final is equal to omega initial plus alpha what is alpha what is alpha and uh, omega initial is initial angular velocity and da, 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 da. very good now please tell me in 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 in, in our translational motion we had that if if the acceleration is not constant if acceleration was constant equations of motion were applicable if acceleration is not constant and i say it is some constant into velocity v now please tell me how do we solve such questions we integrate we use calculus yes he is right so we write dv by dt is equal to kv suppose i tell you the magnitude is this clear now kv dv by dt is this and once we bring v here and dt here dv by v will be ln v is equal to kt are you clear so we use integration there similarly if angular acceleration is not constant we will use calculus if angular acceleration is not constant if angular acceleration is constant we'll use equations of motion like we used in uh, translational motion if angular acceleration is not constant then we'll use now the conceptual part will now come i am going right from very easy and basic things so bor mat hoye now now we come to we used to have net force is equal to mass into acceleration have you heard this Yes, this is newton's yes, is it correct yes, ha huh. it is a specific case actually external force acting on a system is equal to d by dt of perfect please continue aage bhi chaliye ab mere sath if mass is constant then time is mass is not changing with time therefore this term will be zero then you have f is equal to ma otherwise this is the case are you clear now a similar case is there in rotation rotation mein force ki jagah kya term use karte hain very good torque and then net torque is equal to what fast ha d by dt of i omega angular momentum here it was linear momentum here it is angular momentum linear momentum was very simple mass into velocity angular momentum is a little complicated little better which is i omega i is moment of inertia instead of mass you have i in rotation all of you know this yes sir oh, good and if i differentiate it i'll get i into d omega by dt which is alpha i alpha plus omega into di by dt now 
Now, if di by dt is zero, how can I change? I is equal to what? Mr square. So, if I change mass, then also moment of inertia will change. If I change distance of the mass from the axis of rotation, then also moment. Clear? So, if moment of inertia is constant, in that case, you have torque is equal to I alpha, otherwise not. Right now, we'll do simple questions where torque is equal to I alpha. Later, we'll learn, like variable mass, like variable. Are you clear?